So a while back, I made a video on how to make a Doctor Strange portal using particles inside of Fusion, but then I just kind of left you hanging. So now I'm going to show you how to add it to your footage in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So for this tutorial, we're going to be working with a stable shot. You could camera track it in Blender and then import that into Fusion, but that's the whole process and it's worth a whole video of its own really. I didn't have a tripod with me at the time, so I just held my phone really steady and then used the stabilizer tool and I think it turned out pretty good. So I've got my footage here, then in the media pool, I rendered out a portal following the tutorial I made. The only difference really is that I animated the angle start and end so that it kind of spins on. And I made sure to match the camera angle of my footage and everything. So I can hit F2 and rename that portal, and then rename my background BG for background. So I can drag a line out from my portal and then put it here. That'll automatically create a merge node. I can change the apply mode to screen. A lot of people will just stop here and call it a day, but there are some things you can do to really make it match your footage. If I zoom in, you can see that my portal does not match my footage at all. It's way too sharp and clean and crisp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a blur and then add a sharpen. So now it matches the footage I shot with my phone a little better. So since my footage is so bright, the portal kind of gets lost in it. And generally effects like this will look better over dark backgrounds. So you could try doing like a day for night, something like this but there is something you can do to make it pop a little bit more. You can add a background and then drag the portal into the mask input of that. Now, if you look at that, you shouldn't see anything. That's because there's no alpha in this portal. But if I go into the settings, I can change the channel to luminance. So now the bright parts of our portal are cutting out the background. So now I can bring it to an orange color and then merge that over my footage. So now if we take a look at that, you can see before, and after, it just makes the portal pop a little bit more. So now we have our portal, but let's make it go somewhere. So I'm gonna bring down this image. This can be literally anything you want. I just found this on pexels.com. Kind of looks like the alleyway in No Way Home. So I can merge that over our background. Take a look at that and add a transform. Move it around so it fits in our portal. All right, so now we need to cut it out so that it's only inside our portal. So I'm gonna add a polygon and then just click here and add points inside of the portal. So then I can bring this into the merge. So now it's cut out, but it has a really sharp edge right here. So we can just bring up the soft edge some, make it less harsh. So that's looking good, but if we go to the first frame, we can see our portal animates on, but our background's just there. So I wanna find the frame where my portal just finishes forming, and set a keyframe on the blend and the alpha gain. So I'm not just gonna animate the blend all the way down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna animate the blend and the alpha gain so that the brighter parts will appear first and move maybe about 20 frames, and then bring those back up to one. So now our background's slowly fading in. But we can do even better than that. After our transform, we can add a vortex, and adjust the circle so that it fits inside the portal. I'm gonna change the angle to negative 180, and then go to our first frame, which is frame 30. Set a key from on the size, then on frame 50, bring that down all the way. Now it'll kind of twist as it appears. What I'm also going to do is add a blur. Go to our first frame, bring up the blur a bunch, maybe around 50. Set a keyframe, then go to our last frame, bring the blur all the way down. So that'll make it look like the new location is kind of materializing. So if our portal was really here, we'd be casting light on the ground here. Now we could make this using mask and animate that, or we can make a copy of our portal, paste that here, and then add rectangle mask. And then just bring it down to the bottom where it's gonna be casting light from. Then we can add a blur. And just crank that up to somewhere around 50, I think. So in between our locations and our portal, I'm going to add a CC, a color corrector. And then I'm gonna bring this into the mask of that. So if I bring up the gain, we can just see it's doing that to the whole area that we have the blur on. So we can go to the settings and again, change the channel to luminance. So now only the brightest areas of our thing, which is where the portal was, will get the gain. And you can adjust the high slider to make it look better. And then I can just bring the color to something a little orangish. See with and without it really sells that this portal's in the scene. Now one thing we can do to sell that this portal is really hot and has all this energy is adding some displacement. So we can add a displace and then bring our portal into that. So if you look here, you can see it's displacing it based on the portal. It gives kind of a heat blur look. You can bring up the spread a little bit. And I think the default settings for the refraction strength work well. It's a really subtle thing. If you enjoyed this and want to check out more energy effects, then check out this video here where I show you how to make the Morbius smoke trails. 